Julian Deere 32 the countries that support war not in war so they they are good places to be or live in right no no because economic devastation right look at uh, well look at Canada look at United States look at all of Western Europe they started a war that they could not support right they cut off their own fucking their cheap supply of energy and economically they're in deep shit meanwhile like for example eu all of these are brown right or not brown orange supporting war well what's going to happen the eu is coming out and saying we need an eu army right they want to issue bonds for an eu army right but eu is not a country it's a it's a it's a whole bunch of countries that have gotten together and said okay let's have economic uh what do you call it homogenous homogenous economic ties and open borders and we can move around and basically trying to do what different states in the united states have done got together and created the united states of america but they didn't integrate it correctly um in terms of economics right because they're not all the same so what the eu is trying to do now is saying okay we need to raise money right because we're becoming obsolete everything in europe is collapsing so we need to centralize more power so they want to issue bonds but they're not a country to be able to issue bonds because they don't have a revenue system coming in so what are they what are they proposing to do they're proposing to issue bonds and the way they're going to guarantee those bonds is they're going to introduce a new tax in all the eu countries so if you live in the eu country or planning on joining an eu country you have your provincial state tax whatever it is you have your federal country tax whatever it is you have your sales tax whatever it is you have in canada we've got like two different sales taxes whatever other taxes you have and soon you're going to have an eu tax kicking in to guarantee the bonds that the eu wants to sell to raise money to create an eu army right so if you live in an eu country economically if you're joe blow a working person you're fucked right so is that a safe place to be hell no why not because they're also going to war right so all these countries that are supporting war it's going to be economic devastation and if it goes that far they're going to be in full-blown war right and if you're dependent on the government for living wage you're dependent on the government to be able to pay your bills at some point the government's going to come to you and say oh you're collecting welfare you're we're paying you money to be able to live to be able to pay rent to be able to buy food well we're at war you're going to have to come and serve two years in the military because we own you right that's the problem that's the problem the safest place to live is a place where the government has the least amount of power on your personal liberty the least okay julia dear 32 in in europe they want to uh, make your uh europe federation so they can unite europeans even more bad idea bad idea and that's why bad idea what made europe amazing was the diversity in europe right what is destroying europe is they want to take away that diversity and on the on on, on the lie that they want to introduce more diversity they want to take away your diversity but introduce external diversity it's the weirdest shit you ever saw 